Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Right, how far have we got to travel? Not too far. Nice scarecrow. Hey, goose. You keep doing what you're doing, mate. Make sure you're activated. The more fast travel options I have, the better. Oh, I'm in charge of territory now. Hello. Anyone notice that? No? Good. Ooh, another lost city. I'm taken care of. Right. Lesson learned. Abandoned city. Lots of opportunities to be sniped. No, it's a treetop. That's fine. Supplies. He said it would be not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait. Damn oh. it. Okay then. Who is this guy? Got a bite out here. I don't know that. Acting as guards. The eclipse and corrupted machines. Cooperating. One happy family. Not really cooperating so much as the Eclipse are controlling them, I think. Oh, it's a bit low.
Oh, hello. I did not see you there. Somewhat ironically, considering this focus is supposed to help me see more. Fleeing danger, are you? Very wise. Better look at on top for any snipers. I see you. Oh, you're down on another level. Okay. Right, do you have anything good for me? Metal shards. Okay, that has, hasn't drawn anyone's attention. Excellent. This area seems to be all clear now, or this part of it anyway. Cool. Whoa, what are you doing, Aloy? like somebody in a watchtower <laughs> oh good right you're tagged a what thug cultist thug I thought it said cutest I was like what I was wondering where some more of these guys were because there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of them around. We've got this. Oh, do you have anything for me? 
I'll take your shards. I know there's at least one more dude around. Let's have a quick scan to make sure. There's another, another one over there. Who's talking? This is no place for a soldier. All the rope burn of frost black chopping on hard ground. Don't know how I chose the wrong arrows there, but it's fine. No alarms were sent. Right. Someone was talking and I want to know where you are. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Thank you. You're dead. Dead. That's a container. Destroyed machine. Dead. So who the hell was talking? That okay, good. Okay, what is that? Supply crate, what are you? Ancient debris. Oh, are you going to be... Yes, ancient vessel. 10 out of 12. Alright. We are getting there with our collections. Operation. Time to get it moving and be quick about it. 
Deathbringer. some point being sneaky isn't going to work Ooh, level 38 now cool getting closer to 40 Okay. Did it. That was easier than I thought it would be. All right. The eclipse officer had a focus. Let's see what's on it. Uh, yeah, don't want it. There we go. Here's what I want to search. That's the corruption. What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Uh. Okay, so that was Hades. Right, so we've got Hades, the Daemon, and the Spirit. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. But what do you have? Eh, should be fine. All right, let's squeeze on through. So whoever this Sobek is, we're definitely related to her. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Oh, 
I'm pretty sure Mr. Farrow got the memo that I was not attending the meeting. Anything in here? Nope. Got nothing over here. Ah, you're something. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Quartz standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts team or swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad. should always have some way of controlling the things you create. I'm beginning to get the picture now. Anything around here? No. I won't go that way yet. What's in here? I can't spare the weight. That's fine. We're doing all right. Anything in here? No. All right then. Technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Ferro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the Focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So, they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Doing here. Elizabeth Solbe uh, Solbeck born March 11th, 2020. American scientist, robotic uh, roboticist and engineer, widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada, she enrolled at Stanford University at age 13, earning a BS in uh, experimental physics and computer science at age 16. She completed her PhD in Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Design at Carnegie uh, Mel uh, Mellon University. No idea if I pronounced that right. In 2040, 
and joined Ferro Automated Solutions as a junior scientist the, the same year. Rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22, over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realising the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront of its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies, a firm devoted to life positive robotics and other technologies. Miriam has since become one of the world's largest suppliers of green robots, winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. I see. It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. All right. Is it around here? No. must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Ferro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh, growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, but then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Ah, uh, I think the AI they had was growing self-aware. Very Skynet. I right, can't see anything down here. No, all right. Another cave in, but I could get through. Someone's complaining about something, as usual. There's always somebody having a moan. Whoa! Dead. That's not what you want. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. I imagine so. Ooh, what's this? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corp... Looks like I can climb here. Ah, oh, I see. I was back where I started. Hey, oh, you want me? To, you want me to go over there? Fair enough. Uh. 
How do I get over there? Is the question. Oh shit. That's where I need to get to. I can't see any climbable stuff there. Ah! There we go. Perfect. Indeed. That was a lot of word salad. Right, what does this one have to say? The BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were farm machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Looked quite Reaper like that uh, last one. The ACA3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions, from 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models, and you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. That's exactly what it's talking about. Okay, anything else in here? I'm gonna extend this episode slightly until we've covered this area. Because this is gonna explain a lot about what happened. Why this world is the way it is. 
He says as he doesn't read these notes. Forget about traveling light. As you can hear, yes. First campus log. What are these ones? Ah, they're the ones I just listened to. So people are angry at Borrow, at the corporation. They blame this place for something. Something bad. Yeah, I think that's what's happened here. We've got a Skynet situation. They had some kind of AI that decided that humans were dangerous and a threat to its, its existence, so it decided to wipe out humans. That's mother to you. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. Hang on. Am I unintentionally going the way I need to be going? I think I am. Frost catching in my throat. This is the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down codes, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now, what I can promise you, and absolutely assure you, is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. And the day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. Well, I imagine this would be a lovely view if it wasn't for the storm. Here we go. Hardcore parkour. Ah. There we go. Should have brought a cart. Susan, I don't think we'd get a cart up here somehow. Ooh, okay. Oh, I see you. All hands on deck. How long is this going to take us to climb? No, I'm not going to bother the supply crates. Nope, can't go through there.
Oh good, rain. Ah, there we go. Nope, can't get through that. Fair enough. And a sea incident. A way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. A corporate office. Here we go. Oof. Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another Faro has been recovered. All right. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. Well, you, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth kicks out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots friend all life on earth but somehow she defeated them the world of the old ones fell but life went on or, or we wouldn't be here a final fellow has been recovered project zero dawn jesus Liz. there has to be another way if there are a nicer way to fix your mess i would have proposed it but this this when I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. 
In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Something extreme by the sounds of things. Oh, excellent. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence, that's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. All right, Silence, you've made your point. I came to these ruins hoping to learn more about this Elizabeth Sobeck. And I have, but I still don't understand my connection to her. Or why the Eclipse is trying to kill me. Or who Hades is. No answers, just one question after another. Exactly. Which is why it's time to expand your frame of inquiry. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, We've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. No. Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now... I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of? 
Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. <laughs> Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? Do you really need to make this personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse described him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. With a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... ...complicated. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but... ...not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly, an ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners are better than mine. Learned of the ancient past at Maker's End. Alright. Let's go find us a... Getting down will be a lot faster than going up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. Let's go find us a campsite. It, it is cold. Oh, 
All right. Make us end. There's a campfire here. So we will draw, bring this episode to a close. This one's been very long. A lot of story building here, which I like. We're starting to connect all the dots. But for now, I'm definitely going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been sick with later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.